Hello everybody, this is Miss Nancy from the Clearview Library District and I am here to do Babies and Books with you today. Remember that Babies and Books is the first and third Saturday of every month at 10 o'clock in the morning, but you can access those YouTube videos anytime after that date, um, anytime you would like to, to watch these story times. Um, we now have Take and Make Kits that look like this. So make sure that you pick up a take and make kit. Uh, they're available the whole week before each story time. And we'd like you to make that item in the kit before our story time so that you can use it during the story time. This week it's a teething ring with some ribbons and a bell. Okay, so hopefully you picked that up and got it done. Okay, remember that when you pick up a kit from the library, that it may contain small parts that could be choking hazards. So keep those parts away from your babies and your very young children. Once the item is finished and the glue is dry, um, the item is okay for your baby or your small child, as long as it's used with adult supervision. Because these items are homemade, it's possible that baby could pull something off or chew on something or get wrapped around something. And so you do want to use adult supervision with the items that we make. Okay, in your kit you would also find one of these. This is a little book that has nursery rhymes in it. So each time we have a story time, I'm going to put another card with a nursery rhyme on it in there for you to add to your ring and the cover. So for the first couple times when you pick up a kit, you're probably gonna find one of these in there. So you may end up with a bunch of covers and rings but then after a while, um, just get it all together into one, okay? If you ever are missing any part of this and you want to let me know so I can get you a part, um, just let me know and I'll get it for you, okay? Now remember that you can always take a picture during our story time or while you're making your kit and um, send it to me at nancy at clearviewlibrary.org or you can post it on social media and um, tag us on it, Clearview Library. And um, we love to see what you're doing with your baby and what you're doing with the kits that you pick up. Okay, so I think it's time to start. And we're gonna start with our hello song. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Well, hello everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands, clap your hands. Well, hello everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Well, hello everybody. Can you stump your feet? Stump your feet, stump your feet. Well, hello everybody. Can you stump your feet? Stump your feet. Well, hello everybody. Can you tickle your tummy? Tickle your tummy. Tickle your tummy. Well, hello everybody. Can you tickle your tummy? Tickle your tummy. Very good. Welcome to story time. So remember to have a scarf on hand. That's kind of our story time staple. And we love doing peekaboo kinds of rhymes with our babies. Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you, I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes. Peekaboo, I see you. Let's do it again. We know that repeating things with our babies is a great way to help those circuits make connections in their brains. They love hearing things over and over and over again. Okay? Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, I see you, I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes. Peek-a-boo, 
I see you. <laughs> Very good. Peekaboo's always fun. Now you'll notice that we sing a lot during our story times too. Singing is a great way to connect with your baby because they hear the sounds, the separate sounds in words when you sing. And um, that's how children start to figure out what syllables are and to hear the different sounds that letters make. So sing as much as you can with your baby. I didn't say you had to sing well, just sing, enjoy it. They love it when we sing, okay? Now, remember that my doll is supposed to be a newborn baby. So a lot of the things that I'm going to do with her will be more for a very young baby. If you have an older baby, you can hold them like this and you can do a little bit more with the motions and they will love it. But since my baby is supposed to be a newborn, I'm going to do things a little softer and I'm going to support her neck a little bit. Okay? Okay. Mama's little baby loves bouncing, bouncing. Mama's little baby loves bouncing all the time. Mama's little baby loves dancing, dancing. Mama's little baby loves turning around. Mama's little baby loves dancing, dancing. Mama's little baby likes to boogie on down. Lean to the left, lean to the right. Hug that baby nice and tight. Lean to the left, lean to the right. Hug that baby nice and tight. Mama's little baby loves dancing, dancing. Mama's little baby likes turning around. Mama's little baby loves dancing, dancing. Mama's little baby likes to boogie on down. Lean to the left, lean to the right. Hug that baby nice and tight. Lean to the left, lean to the right. Hug that baby nice and tight. Now here's another little bounce we can do. I'm gonna turn my baby around and do it like this, okay? Hip, hip, hippity hop. Hippity, hippity hop. We'll hop and hop and hop and hop until it's time to stop. Now, when your baby gets a little bit older, they love those freeze rhymes where everybody stops and holds still. So that's a really fun one. Let's do it one more time. Hip, hop, hippity, hop, hippity, hippity, hop. We'll hop and hop and hop and hop until it's time to stop. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to read our first book today. And our books today are about winter. And our first book is called Winter in the Forest. Okay. And I'm going to pretty much put the book around for you to see. Um, it's really hard to do story time with babies virtually. The rhymes and the songs are fun and easy to do, but it's hard for a baby to see anything on the screen. So um, just interact with your baby while we go and have fun. And we'll look forward to the time when we can all be together to do this. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Something sparkly is happening in the forest today. Only the fir and holly trees are green. A red cardinal calls cheer, cheer. And two perfect snowflakes kiss the noses of, it's going to be behind there, let's peek. Two little raccoons. It is nice and cold today. What is this white stuff covering the forest? Animals that were born in the spring have never seen it before. It melts on the tongues of the young deer. The curious raccoons try to catch the falling snowflakes. Babies that were born in the spring have never seen this before either. It's snow. Let's look in the flaps. 
<gasps> the great horned owl is active all winter. Listen for his hooting calls. Ooh, ooh. Cardinal sparrows and some woodpeckers and finches may stay around all winter. Look at all those animals in the cold. Yes. What has happened to the pond? Where's the fresh water? How will the raccoons wash food with their little paws? Yes, the pond has frozen, but just a bit. The deer taps it to break the ice and take a cold drink. I wonder what's going to drink on this side. Let's look. <gasps> look. Hello down there. Have you seen our pond? Look at that. It's a raccoon again. Yes, it is. Oh, look. Someone has lost a mitten. A little raccoon wonders if it's a tasty, tasty treat. But it is not. Where is the other mitten? Is someone wearing it to keep warm? Let's look. Oh, let's look inside. A snowy gardener. Where's the other mitten? There it is right there. Yes. The forest animals check the garden for food and seeds left over from the autumn. Winter is a time for plants to rest. In the spring, the snow will melt into water and will help bring the garden back to life. Yes. It was a wonderful winter day to be two little raccoons in the forest. A blanket of snow covers their world. The owl is on the wing. Look at him go. And the moon is full. What's inside this bag? Oh, look. Sweet dreams, little raccoons. See you next spring. There you go. And that was It Is Winter in the Forest. Very good. Okay. Now we have a really cute rhyme. This is one of my very favorite ones. And it's really a nice quiet rhyme. And so you'll find that this is a good one to end a story time with, even though that's not how we're doing it today, or to sleep, to sing before bedtime. It really is slow and quiet, and I just love it. And it is also a peekaboo rhyme, so we can do that too. Sun is peeking out. Peek. Sun is peeking out. Peek. Peeking here, peeking there, sun is peeking out, peak, snow is falling down, shh, snow is falling down, shh, slowly, 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 snow is falling down. Let's do it one more time. Sun is peeking out. Peak. Sun is peeking out. Peak. Peeking here. Peeking there. Sun is peeking out. Peak. Snow is falling down. Shh. Snow is falling down. Shh. Slowly, 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 slowly. Snow is falling down. Shh. Very good. Okay, let's have another book. And our second book is called Winter is Here. And it's by Kevin Hinkies. And he writes a lot of really, really good board books and picture books. So check him out. Um, he'd be a really good one to order, take out, and bring some of his books home. Okay? Winter is here. Okay. 
Winter is here. It is everywhere. Do you see the ice skaters? And there's people walking a puppy and making a snowman. Yes. It is falling from the sky. That's right. See it falling? And sitting on the houses and dripping from the roofs. Drip, drip, drip. And sticking to the trees. Look at all that snow. Yes, in clumps and curls. Winter is reaching through the branches and crouching in doorways. And it makes us cold. Yes. And settling here and there softly, so softly. But winter can be hard too. Ice covers the pond. The leaves underneath look like stars in glass. You see those? What's that? Is that a dog? Yes, it says woof. It can take a long time to get ready for winter. Boots and zippers and vests and zippers and jackets and zippers and hats. Oh, you have a hat, don't you? and snaps, and scarves, and mittens. Oh my goodness, let's do a zipper. Zip! Yes, there is a zipper. Winter is outside, of course, but it's inside, too. Feathering the window, and dusting the dog, and sitting on the table. Hopefully there's not too much winter in your house. Winter comes without a sound. But it comes with many sounds too. Honk, honk, beep, beep. The wind howls in every language. And the windows rattle. Winter is white and gray. But with the dark of night, winter is blue, 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 deep blue, and even colder. Winter comes, and then it stays, and stays, and stays. It seems like it lasts forever, doesn't it? And when it's time to leave, Winter shrinks away bit by bit. It slows down, getting smaller, drying up, slipping down the street, around the corner, peeking back, then moving on, out into the world, into the air, into what comes next? What do you think? Spring. <gasps> Isn't that puppy enjoying the spring? And that is Winter is Here by Kevin Hinkies. Okay. Now, the little song that we're going to do with our teething ring with the bell and the ribbons is to the tune of Frere Jacques. And this is how it goes. Dance like snowflakes Dance like snowflakes in the air, in the air. Whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes everywhere, everywhere. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes. Flakes in the air, in the air, whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes. 
place everywhere everywhere there we go when our babies track motion above them like this that's going to help them with eye hand coordination it's going to help them track when they're reading their little eye muscles are going to get stronger so that's lots of fun okay so it's time to do our goodbye song I'm glad you came today. I'm glad we had a good time. Let's sing our goodbye song. Now, I've again got a, a very young baby, so I'm going to do it like it with a baby. But if you have an older baby, you can do this. And, oh, they'll giggle and they'll just love it. You can make bigger emotions than I make. Okay? Up, down, turn around. Touch the sky and... Touch the ground. Pat your belly. Blink your eyes. Blow a kiss. And wave goodbye. Okay, let's do it one more time. This time I'm going to do it with my baby. Look, it's a little bit older, okay? Up. Down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Pat your belly, blink your eye, blow a kiss and wave goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Make sure you pick up your take and make kit and have a good time. Stay safe. Thank you.